Have you ever or have you ever even attempted to burn a massive amount of calories? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can burn 5,000 calories, where I'm going to teach you which days of the week that you should pick, when you should start, what types of workouts you should do, and how you should prepare for a massive day like this. So the other day we were issuing a challenge for the belly burners. We want to see who can burn the most amount of active calories. Now I participated because I love doing workouts and I love burning calories. And so for me, I picked a day where I knew I didn't have a bunch of work things. I knew the next day I'd be able to get a little bit more rest and I knew I'd be able to challenge myself and spend a lot of time working out. And so I wanna challenge you to take this challenge on once, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to pick a day where you have the least amount of workload. So for some of you that work nine to five Monday through Friday, this is more than likely going to be a Saturday, okay? For me, that's Mondays. Mondays is my slowest day. I purposely do that because Mondays are usually my craziest days when it comes to people and their demands and their requests. But for you, it's probably a Saturday or a Sunday. And when you do start this 5,000 calorie day, you need to start it early. You can't sleep in till 10 and then expect to be in bed by nine. It needs to be a day where you can get up early and you can start moving early, okay? And you're gonna need about eight to 12 hours to be able to get this done depending on your body shape, what conditioning you are and how hard your heart works during workouts. So the second thing you need to do is you need to push yourself at workouts. This can't just be going through emotions thing. Like if your body is sore or you're unable to really push yourself in the workout, it's probably not the best time to do it. So when you go to the workouts, you have to have that mindset. I'm here to crush. I'm here to crush calories. And in fact, you need to start your watch and you need to be monitoring your heart rate throughout the entire workout, making sure that it's at least 150 beats per minute while you're working out. So you absolutely have to push yourself. Then I would tell you that you need to pick two different types of gym workouts throughout the day. Now, the nice thing about Fit Club is that we actually offer three different workouts. You have your early morning workouts, you have your virtual workout, and then you'll have your change of program, which is gonna happen in the mid morning or the evening. So you need to stimulate and create some type of environment that your body isn't accustomed to. Doing the same workout back to back probably won't work as good as splitting up your workouts and doing two different ones. So pick a day where you can do two different types of workouts and get it done. And really 30 minutes is all you need for each workout. Then you need to do an activity where you're constantly moving. Now my recommendation is doing like a HIIT training. To me, HIIT training is like playing tennis or playing soccer or playing hockey, right? So you can do something that your body's continuously moving, but in a HIIT matter. Going for a run, isn't probably the best method because going for a run at some point in time, your heart rate is gonna peak out and plateau and it's not going to go up and it's not gonna go you know, too low, right? So like if you're doing hit, your heart rate's high and then it's lower, but it's always at that same level if you just did a run. So a run is steady, you're not gonna burn as many calories. But if all you have is access to the road or a treadmill, then on a treadmill, you just run for 30 seconds and then you jog for 30 seconds, and then you sprint for 30 seconds, and then you walk for 30 seconds. Either way, the pace is constantly changing every 30 seconds. On this day, you gotta understand that it's going to be a minimal food day. When you're working out that much and that often, your body actually isn't hungry. You're gonna see the only time that you're gonna get hungry is when you stop, if you get hungry at that time. But your body is in constant, let's put all the blood and get all the muscles outside of the stomach working because your body's not gonna be able to digest the amount of calories that you're gonna burn in that one day. So what you need to do is preload your calories the day before. So if you're doing your big calorie day, your 5,000 calorie day on a Saturday, then on a Friday, you need to preload all those calories so that you are prepped and have the energy for that big calorie burn day. Sleep, you need to get good rest the night before. Because if you're under rested and you're completely bagged, sure you can drink a bunch of coffee and take a bunch of stimulants and it will definitely help you. But if you're rested, your brain's gonna be clear, your body's gonna be recovered and you're just gonna be in the mood to really push yourself. So make sure that the night before you plan out at least eight hours of actual sleep, not eight hours of being in bed. This way your body can be fully recovered, repaired and ready to go. And then the last but not least, it's go time. So I gave you all the steps. You need to pick a day where you can spend more time working out. You need to start early. You need to push yourself. Pick a variation of workouts. Incorporate some type of hit 
cardio in there. Make sure that you're not planning a big food day because you're just not going to have enough time to eat. In fact, your body's not going to want to do it. And make sure that you're getting the proper sleep the night before. If you're looking for a big push and to get this done, then make sure that you contact us. If you're a member, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and then send us a message. We'll get you on a Bellybird team. If you're a non-member, let's just get you started five days. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, hit the Get Started button, and we'll push you, and we'll get you to where you wanna go.